Hi everyone, Dr. Nemechek here. I want to talk about die-off, or what is called the Jarish-Herxheimer reaction. This is, uh, so I'll just say die-off in general. This has been misused, misapplied, all over the place. It's kind of ridiculous, the kind of stuff you hear, all right? And now, when we get infections, you can like get a viral infection or a bacterial infection, uh, a parasite infection, and then you can get infection with these weird organisms called spirochetes. All right, a whole different family. And sometimes these spirochete infections can linger for a long time, and you get a lot of organisms in you. Now, this was the Jarsch-Herxheimer reaction was first described in people with tertiary or very advanced disseminated syphilis where they have lots and lots of this organism in them all right and you give them penicillin injection now penicillin there's two ways antibiotics work some just prevent things from growing some will go and destroy the organisms basically make them all die off at the same time and that's what penicillin does it's a bactericidal drug so you have tons of spirochetes in you you take penicillin, and you have to have advanced disease too, not like just simple early syphilis. You have tons of it in your body. You get the penicillin. All these organisms essentially simultaneously rupture and dump tons of stuff into your bloodstream. And basically the Herxheimer reaction is almost like a little bit of shock. Fever, a flush, uh, trouble breathing, a drop in blood pressure can last for several hours. All right. Um, this can also happen with other spirochetes. Again, Lyme disease, but again, we're talking like tertiary or advanced disseminated Lyme where you have Lyme arthritis and stuff like that. Not like early Lyme disease won't do it. Leptospirosis, uh, relapsing fever, which I had. It was horrible when I got my treatment. I actually had that problem. And um, so it's very specific die off does not apply to when you're using inulin or rifaximin. It doesn't apply to your standard treatment for you've got uh, a Lyme infection recent from a tick bite and you got a little rash and they treat you with 10 days of doxycycline. It won't happen then, all right? If you're seeing something, it's from something else. Because again, you have to have advanced disease where the infection's been in you for a long time and you have lots of this stuff in your body that dies off at one time, okay? Um, it's not due to yeast and die off of yeast with any kind of treatment. It just doesn't happen, all right? And it's very specific to spirochetes. So a Herx reaction, a Jarish Herxheimer reaction, or die off are only applies to those infections. If you have some symptoms that people call die off, you have symptoms, but it's from something else. That's the important point of this is don't just say, oh, let's die off. We'll just get through it. It's, oh, let's go look for another problem. That's what you have to say to yourself. Okay. I hope that helps everybody zero in on that. Uh, I mean, really for 99.999% of people who've been told it's die off, they're wrong. Okay. It's a very unusual thing these days in medicine. Real, but very unusual. Otherwise, everybody take care.